electric vehicles, different 3D printed things. Yeah, that's what I do. So I've been interested in building things all my life. It's what I do. It's what I've always done, to be honest. So I used to build small stuff, but having access to the resources I do with 3D printing and just having like a part-time job so I've got money now, I c I've actually gotten into this stuff. Different family members, extended relatives, they, they build stuff. But a lot of this has come from my own love of engineering. We have all of these petrol powered cars on the roads, vehicles, especially smaller vehicles actually. That was my goal, uh, proof that it can be done on a relatively cheap basis. Honestly, I don't even know where I find the time for all of this. It's, it's, it's crazy, life's a bit hectic, but I always try and make some time aside in the week for building things. So school, big priority, but in the end, I make time for it no matter what because it's what I wanna do. So my parents have been very generous. They've always been supportive of what I do. They've helped me get my workshop off the ground, so they've been a really, really big part of this. You know, we all have a responsibility to do what's right with our abilities, right? And for me, I innovate, so I wanna do things that are good for the environment because in the end, we've got one planet Earth and uh, we've got a responsibility to look after it. And I just wanna do my part and encourage others to do theirs. I've learned a lot from YouTube. <laughs> Uh, forums. If that information's already there, then it's a total waste not to make use of it. So that's 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 a that's a lot of where I've gotten my knowledge from. I'm trying to keep my plans open because who knows where I'm going to go. I'd like to you know, be doing something with electric vehicles. I, I just know that I like building things. I like innovating and, you know, I think that's where I've been called. So yeah, may maybe an electric vehicle startup, innovating on the stuff we have right now, developing new batteries. I'm not sure. I think I found that high school, especially up until year 10, was pretty limited in terms of opportunities to practice engineering in a, in a obviously a practical way. So I, I, I'm gonna make the call out to high schools to, to make a, more of a focus on engineering, especially as we get into a, a global space where we need more people who are creative, you know? We need people like that because that's how, that's how the world moves forward, right? Creative thinking, innovation. If you really feel like your call is to engineering, then go for it. Follow, follow your passion. If it's engineering, go for it. Set up a workshop, do those things, build stuff, don't just let it all sit there in the drawers. Get stuff out and use it. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think I think that's about it.